Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about how I am able to track every task that I need to do on a daily basis. Everything from what videos I need to do in Ranking Rabbit, right through to where am I at with different clients because they all pay on different days of the month and they're all at different stages. So, Asana is an online project tool. There are other ones, but for this example I'm going to show you Asana because it's very easy to use and it's 100% free, and it's the one I'm most familiar with. It just works, and the old saying goes, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I have tried Trello in the past, I just prefer this one. Very simple and easy to use. So I've created a test account. This is absolutely blank, so I can show you how to create projects and uh, tasks, etc., without giving away my existing clients. And I'm just gonna quickly log in with those details. And once I'm inside here, I'm gonna show you really how easy this is. So this is absolutely blank to start off with. And what I'm gonna to want to do to start is I'm gonna to wanna to create a new project. And I normally name my projects based on client name on my own website name. I've put in here Ranking Rabbit. I'm gonna click on Create Project. And now that I've got this project Ranking Rabbit, what I can do is I can click Add Task or Add Section. I can do this either at the top by adding a task or a section, or I can type it in manually, okay? And I'll just show you how to do it manually because it's very, very easy. It's not gonna take too long. All you need to do here is, let's just say I wanted to put in training videos. I then put a colon after it and press enter, and that automatically makes it a new section. And then I could put in here, beginner video for SEO press enter, that's gonna add a task. I could write in here, AdWords video. I could write in here, Analytics video. Now that that's done, I can create another section called Upcoming Webinars. Put a colon, so that then creates another section. And then I could say Q&A. And I could say, eBay training, for example. Now that, now that I've got these tasks in here, what I can do with this, which makes it incredibly powerful, is I can click on each individual task. I can write comments for myself. I could say, must discuss. And then I could put points in here or do whatever I want. I can leave myself a comment. Must discuss the importance of SEO um, remember to mention updates to tools. Okay, click comment on that and that'll be saved there forever. I can also put a description up the top here if I want to. But the reason why I really like this is inside the Ranking Rabbit team, we've got Jonathan, we've got myself, we've got Dave, we've got Steve, and I might want Jonathan to do the upcoming webinar. So I can assign this task specifically. So then what I could do is I could put Jonathan's email address in here and click enter. And it, Jonathan will get an email inviting him to join Asana. If he accepts it, he'll then be able to log in, see this project and see what task is assigned to him. He'll be able to read any of the notes. He'll also be able to leave comments on here. And the great news is once a specific task is done, you can click complete on it and then it takes it out. So as tasks are completed like this, your workflow is gonna go down for that particular project. The other reason why this is really beneficial is because if we click on an individual task, begin a video for SEO, I can set a due date on here. I can say that this must be done by, or this is due on Sunday, and it's myself that's gonna do that. So then what happens is every day that I log in, it's going to tell me what tasks are due and I can sort these tasks by incomplete tasks. I can look at the recently completed tasks if I'm working with Steve, for example, or Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan did the um, training video. Let me go to recently completed tasks, all completed tasks, find the one that was assigned to Jonathan and then I can read if he left any comments for me. So this is really, really beneficial. Now, in terms of managing your clients, 
remember that I always do a three month setup. And that makes it incredibly easy because what we can then do is type in a project name. Let's just say I take on a new client, Stephen Johns Wellington Boot Sales. Let's say this is my new client. What I can do here is I can go to that three month SEO setup. Let me just grab the blank proposal. And what I can do right here with this is I can grab each individual month. I can copy this and paste it straight into Asana. And it's going to fill all of those things in for me. And then all I want to do is month one, let's just get rid of the colon there and put it at the end here. That's going to make that the section heading. And then that's all the stuff I need to do in month one. Press enter there. Then I'm going to grab month two. Paste that in here. Stick a colon at the end. Let's, let's get rid of it from there and put it at the end to create another section. And then finally, month three. And the day that I take a client on, I can come into here and lay all of this stuff out. Month one, month two, month three. And then I can assign the specific tasks. So this is my client. So on page optimization, who, who normally does that? That's normally me. When do I need to have that completed by? It's going to make sense for me to have that completed by Friday. Um, the next one I can go through, who's going to do that? Assign it. Done. If I've got a team working for me, they're going to get notified that new stuff's assigned to them. It then makes it really, really easy for me to be able to see every single time I log in exactly what tasks are due. I can find out what tasks are assigned to me. I can find out what tasks are assigned to other people. And we can all leave comments and we can all use this one platform to make sure that nothing gets missed and everybody's on top of what they need to do. If I miss a task, it will show up at the top in red to say that it's overdue. And that's a constant reminder that I have dropped the ball and I need to pick things up. This is what also makes Asana incredibly powerful. Once we've got our first project assigned, we can click on the three buttons at the edge of the project. We can set a color if we want to, to make things easier to find moving forwards. But another thing that we can do with this is we can click use as a template. So I've got month one, month two, month three laid out. I can copy the project. I've now got a new client called John's Best Fishing Shop. And I can include task descriptions if I want to. I can include who it's assigned to, what the subtasks were, if there was any attachments, tags, task followers, etc., and click create project. I probably wouldn't have the attachments because that's going to be things like the requirements document, which I'll explain in a few minutes, but who the tasks are assigned to, what the task descriptions are, what the subtasks are, absolutely beneficial. So I'll just click create on that and this will take just a second to come up. And then as soon as that's done, I've now got an entire new client, including all of the tasks that are assigned. I just need to go in then and set the due dates for each one. So really, really, really incredible stuff. And then what I also do here as well is if we just at the top, what I like to do is to just add a section. Um, let me just call this notes for client. And what I'm going to do with this is just take this section and stick it right up at the top. And then what I can do with this notes for client section is I can attach documents to here. So remember, I ask my clients to fill in the requirements document. You can download that. And whenever I take a new client on, I always ask them to complete this. I'll just drag that over from the other side. This is going to really help me um, because I'm getting all of their contact information. Um, normally, when I send this to a client, I don't write in there these two sections. I take them out. But I want all of their contact details, any social accounts they've currently got, including what the usernames and passwords are. 
I want to know what the domain name is, username, password, how I get into cPanel, how I get into hosting. I then have all of that information saved it then makes my job much, much easier. So as soon as the client pays, this is the first email they get saying, fill this in, as soon as you've done that, we can start work. I only send this to the client after they've made the payment, not before, because I don't want to put a client off by saying, hey, um, can you fill all of this in and then make payment? If I do that, they might think, oh, this is too much of a headache, I'll do it next week, or I won't do it at all, or etc." get the payment, send this over, tell them you'll start work. As soon as I get that document complete, I bring that and I just attach that so that then anybody that's working on any of these steps, whoever those tasks are assigned to, they can come in here, they've got the information that they need and if there's any specific notes, we can keep them right at the top of the project here. Spoke to client, client said this or there's something not quite right, etc. It makes it incredibly easy to work with this. I highly recommend that if you're dealing with clients and you're not currently using anything to track week in, week out, that you really consider using Asana. Just start creating yourself lists like this. Check them off as you've got the task complete. And what will you'll notice that your productivity will go up tenfold. Remember as well, watch Brian Tracy's Eat That Frog. You always want to start with what is potentially the biggest task first. Get that completed and it will motivate you to get all the other ones done. I really hope you find this video helpful and if you've got any questions or feedback, please post in the group, I'll be happy to answer. Cheers.